The International Space Station has a new set of solar panels. Shuttle Atlantis crew members installed the panels Monday during the first spacewalk of the current shuttle mission. Two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble... After a near-perfect liftoff on Friday, NASA engineers and the Atlantis crew began routine inspections of the craft. They initially reported no significant damage, but a detailed photographic inspection revealed a small gap in the shuttle's insulating heat shield. NASA manager John Shannon. During the, uh, the uh, survey with the robot arm uh, on Atlantis that the crew was doing, the crew saw that uh, one of the blankets was raised up, a corner of it was raised up just a little bit. That left a gap of about 10 centimeters wide in the craft's heat shield near the tail. On Tuesday, NASA officials decided to extend the mission to deal with the problem. It's not a great deal of concern over it right now, but uh, like I say, there's a lot of work to be done, and uh, we'll do that in the, uh, in the coming days. Things could be all the way from tucking it back into the tiles. They have uh, pens that you can use. Um, you could just trim off that area um, all the way to, uh, to we're flying several different tile repair capabilities, like a, like a plate overlay, and we've got uh, the goo that you can squirt in any, any tile loss areas. So you, we have a, a very wide spectrum of different repair activities. Three spacewalks are planned on this mission to complete the current phase of space station construction. And a fourth may be needed to complete the heat shield repairs on shuttle. That will likely involve attaching an astronaut to the shuttle's robotic arm in order to reach the damaged tail area. Paul Sisko, VOA News.